I've gotten a lot of video requests suggesting that I make a video about Honkai Star Rail, but those of you that have been here long enough know that I used to have a video for Honkai Star Rail on the Steam Deck. I took it down for reasons we'll talk about later, but I figured now would be a good time to revise this tutorial. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech lowlife lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. Before you begin following this tutorial, you'll want to keep these warnings in mind. First and foremost, this is not an official tool by MiHoYo, and as such, this technically breaks the terms of service of Honkai Star Rail. Yes, in the past, there have been banned waves, and while as of recently there haven't been any ban waves according to some sources, there's no guarantee that you won't get banned, so do keep this in mind. Do keep in mind that high tech lowlife is not responsible in case your multi thousand dollar miHoYo account gets banned, and of course by following this tutorial you understand the risks and you're willing to take the risks. So without further ado, let's begin then. The launcher in question will be the Honkers Railway Launcher. If you've watched any of my Genshin Impact videos in the past, you've probably heard of an anime game launcher. Well, this launcher is made by the same guys behind that launcher as well. Like most other tutorials, you'll need to be in desktop mode. You can access desktop mode by going to your power menu and pressing switch to desktop and you should be in desktop mode. You'll have to set up things in desktop mode, and as such, having a mouse and keyboard is recommended, but not required. And while most of the setup requires you to be in desktop mode, you can play the game in game mode after following my tutorial. Should anything drastic change or any changes to my tutorial be necessary, I'll be sure to let you guys know ahead of time, so yeah, there's that. First, you'll need to get the launcher set up. There's a couple of different methods to get the launcher set up, but the best method is to have it set up through Discover. You'll need to add the repository to Discover. If you've already done this for an anime game launcher, then you won't need to do this step. But if you haven't done it yet, then I'll show you how to do it here. First, you'll need to launch the Discovery app. In Discover, you'll need to go to Settings first, and then you'll need to press Add Source. It'll ask for a URL. You'll need to type out this URL right here, or copy paste it. Once you do that, press Add and you should have it available. Once you've successfully added the repository, you should be able to search up Honkers Railway Launcher. So you'll want to go ahead and install the Honkers Railway Launcher. Just press the install button and you should be good to go. The launcher by itself doesn't take up too much space, but you'll need to make room for the actual game itself. As of the making of this video, the game itself is like 30 something gigs. Once the launcher is done downloading, you'll want to launch the launcher. So just look up Honkers Railway Launcher on your desktop and you should find it. Now you'll want to press continue and you'll want to pay attention to this warning right here. This will tell you that they're not responsible in case you get banned or anything of the sort. If you agree, then you can press continue. But if you don't, then you can always exit it. Now obviously we're going to accept this risk, so press continue and you should be good to go. Here you'll see the launcher folder. By default, the game and all of the stuff required to run the game would be in this folder. This of course is in your internal drive. If you're okay with the game living on your SSD, then you don't have to do anything else, just press continue. But if you want to move your game over to your micro SD card, here's what you would do. You press I know what I'm doing and then you scroll down. Most of these options should stay default, but there is one option that you should change. For people playing the global version of the game, you would press global game version installation folder. It'll open up this window to select a new folder. To move to your SD card, you'll want to go down to primary and then just pick a folder in there. I've already made a folder called HSR in my SD card. Press continue and then press download and everything should be good to go. Right now, it's just downloading certain components needed to run Honkai Star Rail on your Steam Deck. So this process right here won't take too long. The installation process will move very smoothly. You'll also get a prompt and this prompt will ask you to install the Wine Mono package. You'll want to press install and, well, everything will be good to go. So as you can see here, the launcher is ready to download and install the game itself. Just press the download button and it'll start downloading and installing the game. This may take a while. The game has to not only be downloaded but also unpacked as well, so this will take a little bit. You may want to reduce the screen brightness while downloading this on your Steam Deck OLED, especially if you have slow internet. 
Once downloaded, you'll have the option to launch the game. But before that, let's look at some options you have here. You can change the appearance of the launcher. You can change the launcher language, what version of the game you want to play, what voiceover languages you want. There's also a lot of wine specific settings. It's pretty well explained, but if you don't know what you're doing, then I recommend just not touching any of this stuff. And of course, to launch the game, you'll want to press that big blue launch button right there. I recommend just turning off the launcher and then relaunching the launcher and then launch the game that way. But anyway, Anyways, if everything works out successfully, then you should be good to go. You'll just need to log on to your account. You also need to complete your security verification. And even after doing all of this, the game will prompt you for yet another update. So go ahead and update the game. So now the game works, but we're going to go ahead and add it to Steam. You'll be able to play the game with controller support. First, you'll have to exit the game and exit the launcher as well. Next, you'll have to launch Steam. You'll then need to add the launcher as a non-Steam game. Since you downloaded the Flatpak version of the game, it should already show up in this program list. Just go ahead and click on it and then press Add Selected Program, and you should be good to go. Once added to Steam, you should see that it's called the Honkers Railway Launcher. I like to rename this to Honkai Star Rail, you know, the actual name of the game. And that about covers it. That's all you really need to do to play the game. So now let's go back to game mode. If successful, the game will show up in your Steam library as a non-Steam game. But as you can see here, there's no icons, there's no artwork, there's nothing like that. There's a couple of ways to add artwork to your non-Steam games, but my favorite way is to use the Steam Grid DB plugin. But if you don't want to use Deki, there are alternative methods to adding art, but that'll be for a separate video. So we're just going to see if the game actually works on Steam deck. The launcher does launch every single time you launch the game, but you can just use the touchscreen. And as you can see here, now we're ready to game. Unlike Genshin Impact on the Steam Deck, Honkai Star Rail automatically recognizes our controller, so you don't have to configure the controls or anything of the sort. The controls just work out of the box. Because I didn't get any good rolls to begin my game with, I re-rolled my entire game, so yeah, that's why I'm doing the tutorial again. So anyways, yes, the game works on Steam Deck, and it works excellently as well. Just keep in mind that until MiHoYo makes an official statement, there's always a risk of being banned. MiHoYo is also set to release a brand new title called Zenless Zone Zero. I want to try out that game on Steam Deck, and I want to see if it works properly on Steam Deck as well, and you know, the game also looks really cool. So if you want to see a tutorial for ZZZ, then you know what to do, like and subscribe. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.